All right, so to do our coloring for our soup cans, you're going to need to have two sets of complementary colors. It's up to you. You can go yellow, purple, you can go blue and orange, or you can go red and green. You're also going to need to have a black and a white colored pencil. If you have access to a gray colored pencil, that'd be awesome. If not, a normal pencil will work just fine. So you're going to choose which complementary color schemes you want to do and go from there. I like the blue and the orange and I like the yellow and the purple. So I'm going to take my red and green and put it off to the side. First, I'm going to start with the top of my cam. I can take a gray colored pencil and apply some value to that lid of the can so the lid of the can feels almost metallic. And I can apply some value to the bottom of the can. I can take a little bit of black and make some shadows in there on the rings. I could take a normal pencil and apply some value in there and mix media. As long as the top and the bottom of my can feel metallic, I can even blend it all together with a white colored pencil. Now, for the inside, I'm going to go with the orange and the blue first. My can is going to be orange. Color neatly and clean. I'm not pressing down too hard on this orange. Pressing down just hard enough. Because I want to have a variety of tints, intensities, and shades of the orange. Down here, I'm going to make my orange darker. Have some contrast. For my background around my can, I'm going to make it blue. Hit my outline first so I know to stay within my perimeters of my space. And then start covering it in.
my colored pencil starting to run out. And I don't want to waste my time with the video sharpening a colored pencil. You can picture that I will have colored the rest of that blue. For the insides, I can do a variety of blues, oranges, all different kinds of contrasting complementary colors next to each other. When I've completed applying all of my color to all of my spaces and areas, then I can move on to the opposite. The opposite is going to have an opposite effect on the background and on the cans. So my background will be the opposite complementary color. And on the inside, whatever color I did for the top of the cans and for the words, I'm going to do the opposite complementary color. For example, my dill would be then orange instead of blue. And I'll fill the rest of that in. For these two, I'm going to take my other complementary colors of yellow and purple and make them the backgrounds and the insides of the cans. So if I choose yellow as my background for this can, I'm going to choose purple as my background for this can. That way I can see how complementary colors work with different space usage. If you have any questions, be sure to ask.